Gauteng Education MEC Banyaza Ilisufi has called on union solidarity to back off and not interfere with the education six system. This after the union said it would be filing court papers seeking to lift the suspension of large school swise Raneke teacher Elana Bakhazen. Lisufi spoke at the opening of the newly refurbished Centurion Primary School. A booster for learning and teaching and a huge inspiration for the school's a thousand pupils. The renovations are costing nearly 70 million rands. I'm very excited. It's a beautiful school, it looks spacious. And then, yeah, I'm sure the kids will have lots of fun. So excited for the kids, at least they, they can get to be in a proper classroom. Um, they don't have to worry about the elements, you know, cold. What grade are you in? I'm grade two. All right, so what do you want to be when you grow up? A, a chef. Oh wow, great. And you, what grade are you in? I'm in grade four. Uh -huh. And what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a dentist. Amid the excitement, a warning not to fuel racial tensions at the school and a call on solidarity not to interfere with school affairs in Northwest. Solidarity must back off. Uh, if you are going to bring politics in the school premises, they are not going to survive. Mm -hmm. There is a serious matter of racial or racial discrimination. Mm -hmm. You must not overlook that aspect for point uh, for political point scoring of your member who are not even sure that you are a member, uh, and, and and ignore other things that are very crucial there. Reality is children were discriminated; their mm -hmm. dignity ham, uh, uh, hampered, mm -hmm. and that children were openly separated on the basis of language and their color of the skin. You ignore all those things and pick up one point without apologizing to society, they must really back off. If that province can't tell solidarity to back off, we'll tell them where to back off. Mm. Lesufi also called on the community and parents to assist in protecting the refurbished school this after the burglary at Menzi Primary in Tsagane. To have that kind of investment and people come and steal from it, uh, it, it really devastated us. Uh, uh, but we need to recover as quickly as possible and move forward. And that is why I'm going to Tsagane tomorrow, 5 p.m. Uh, the community must tell us. I'm not going to leave them until they tell us who stole our property. Because if they don't, then we have to take out the entire expensive equipment from that community. Lesufi says his department has placed all Houting pupils in schools, but parents still need to accept the placements. Sipo Sterman, SBC News in Centurion.